These newly planted seedlings will yield an abundant summer harvest for a rural North Carolina community hungry for a connection to the earth. We have to ask ourselves, do we give thanks for a supersized meal from McDonald's in the same way that we give thanks for food that we've grown and harvested by our own hands? Cedar Grove United Methodist Church facilitates the Anatoth Community Garden. Pastor Grace Hackney says people wanted a spiritual link to the food they eat, and the idea for the garden sprouted. So I'm not, we might need to get another table out here. Yeah, I know. It's good to be around people who are kind and loving and caring. Jocelyn wow. Patterson lives alone. The garden grows social connections and an abundance of food to share with many in this area who struggle. So I have a senior citizen friend who's in her 70s on a fixed income and I bring her vegetables. Not everyone who works the garden attends Cedar Grove United Methodist. Patterson was raised Jewish but says the garden has brought her to church on occasion. I've gone to services there a few times that were somewhat garden related and found it to be very spiritually renewing. Norman Wurzba is Duke Divinity School's first ever research professor of theology, ecology, and rural life. He speaks to churches and says interest is growing. The way Christians eat can have a lot to do with what the world will be like. So if we eat in ways that honor God's creation, we will at the same time have healthier lands, cleaner yeah, water, more contented and happy animals, right? Yeah. And our health will be better too. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.